what's good guys welcome back to ron's rise news welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where we have the new 2024 jeep wrangler and it gets a new face that might be controversial with a smaller grille but a updated interior now jeep was opting for subtle but meaningful upgrades because the 2024 jeep wrangler has debuted at the new york international auto show and the mid-cycle facelift promises better off-road performance improved safety and increased refinement all with subtle tweaks to the exterior appearance. Now highlights include the new Dana 44 full float solid rear axle for the Rubicon editions, the introduction of new trims with enhanced standard equipment and improved safety as standard. Now, meanwhile, you have the accessibility of the Wrangler 4XE Jeep's plug-in hybrid offering, which will be available at lower starting prices this year for the Sport S4XE as the brand heads towards ensuring half of all new Jeep sales are electric. Now, the new seven slot grill for the Wrangler is the most obvious change for the 2024 model year and will serve as a main external differentiating factor. Now, the slats are slimmer and a more upright look, much like a design from a Wagoneer and Grand Wagoneer, and it also apes what was found on the controversial Wrangler Rubicon 20th Anniversary Editions. Now, these slats also appear inlaid on the front fascia, ditching the body colored appearance for a fussier but aggressive combo of black textured slots and with a neutral gray metallic bezel and body color surround. Now, the changes aren't just for show though, as Jeep claims that the new design helps improve cooling. It also is necessary for the Rubicon's factory installed Warren winch. Another functional consideration is banishing the steel mass antenna that could snag on trees. It's replaced by a stealth antenna integrated into the windshield. Now, a new premium soft top now comes as standard, while the Wrangler High Altitude gets a nifty Sky One Touch power top as standard. Now, for 2024, 10 new wheel designs on the range of 17 inches to 20 inches are available. And for those wishing to any it up there's also a bit like capable option of extreme 35 package while the tires range from 32 to 35 with that there now the rubicon name has been synonymous with capable wranglers and the 2024 edition aims to further that reputation new for this model year is the dana 44 hd full float rear axle there's also a worn winch rated at 8,000 pounds mounted on the steel bumper straight from the factory you also get a rock track pack time transfer case with with a 4 to 1 4LO ratio, front sway bar disconnects, 33 inch tires, and true lock front and rear axle lockers. Now, those wanting more capability can opt for the Rubicon X. The X adds the Rock Track full time transfer case, a camera that helps with off roading, and 35 inch Be of Good Rich all terrain tires for the 2 liter and the 3.6 liter automatic powertrains. And of course, there's still the V8 powered Rubicon 392 with 470 horsepower. Now the Wrangler Willys returns for 2024, this time with more 4x4 oriented bits, including a newly standard true lock rear locker, steel rock rails, trailer tow, and heavy duty electrical group. Ride height has been improved as the tires go up by one size to 33 inches with the fender flares altered to accommodate them. And on the greener side of things, the Wrangler's 4XE has been America's best-selling plug-in hybrid for the last two years. To further broaden the appeal, a new Sport S variant will lower the entry-level price for consumers. Now, meanwhile, the previous PHEV starting point, the Willys 4XE now gets a bit more serious, featuring a select track full-time transfer case with 4LO ratio 2.72 to 1, and all 2024 Wrangler 4XEs will feature a power box which adds four 120 volt outlets with 30 amps of total power, allowing the battery pack to power external devices. Now, the main thrust of the 2024 update to the JL Wrangler is the improved infotainment system. There's a new 12.3 inch touchscreen display, a drastic upgrade over the seven inch unit found on the outgoing model. Similarly, the Uconnect 4 infotainment system, which came with the original car that was launched back in 2018, has now been upgraded to Stellantis' Uconnect 5 Android based system. Now, the new Uconnect 5 adds wireless Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, while its new Trails Off Road feature is an innovative assistant for taking the trail rated capabilities of the Wrangler seriously. Jeep claims that they're the first automotive brand to feature built in off road adventure trail guides. The system offers comprehensive way to plan off roading trips with detailed trail guides for the 62 Jeep badge of honors trails. Now those include the Rubicon Trail in California, Hell's Revenge in Utah, and Jericho Mountain in New Hampshire. 
Now the full selection on offer features 3000 trial guides with difficulty ratings, a route description and key waypoints for turns, obstacles and point of interest. There's also a catch though. You can only unlock the full catalog via the dreaded subscription. Yes, you have to have a subscription to update it, but thankfully you won't have to keep paying for the initial purchase to enjoy the upgraded interior. Now Jeep says refinement has been improved with soft touch surfaces and a heritage inspired center stack layout. There are also USB type C ports as standard for front seat passengers and USB type A and type C ports for the second row. New Mantis green interior color while the high altitude Rubicon X and Rubicon 392 will get an acoustic front glass, a thicker carpet and additional sound deadening foam. Safety has also been improved this year with the second row now getting outboard seat belts with pretensioners and load limiters. There are structural improvements to the side impact protection while both front and rear passengers get side airbags as standard. Traction control ESC with electronic roll mitigation and a reverse camera are standard on all models while four collision warning and advanced cruise control with stop now comes standard on the sport S trims and above. Now powertrains remain the same for the 2024 model year, the three ice options and the PHEV 4XE. You have the lowest rung 2 liter turbocharged inline 4 with 270 horsepower, 201 kilowatts, and 295 pound feet, 400 new meters of torque. You have the vulnerable 3.96 liter Pinstar V6 that remains with 285 horsepower, 212 kilowatts, and 260 pound feet, 352 new meters of torque, and can be matched to a manual transmission or an optional 8 speed automatic. The 4XE features a 2 liter inline 4 cylinder coupled to a transmission mounted motor generator unit, and the combination puts out 375 horsepower, 280 kilowatts, 470 pound feet, 637 newton meters of torque. Finally, there's a 6.4 liter V8 found on the Rubicon 392 that outputs a whopping 470 horsepower, 350 kilowatts, and 470 pound feet, 638 newton meters of torque. So pricing and availability, that'll probably be announced later on in the year. Let me know what you guys think though so far. Is that grill controversial? Do you like the smaller grill of the new models or the bigger grill of the older ones? And what do you guys think about the infotainment upgrade? Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it and we'll give a bigger discussion on the new 2024 Jeep Wrangler update. Now, with that said, if you guys wanna help further support the channel, always check the links down in the description below. We have a one-time link donation from my PayPal, my Cash App, my Venmo, and my Patreon, just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. Appreciate that extra love and support, guys. Thank you so much. You guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch and check out the social media links down in the description below. Now, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise news video. Peace.